NASA's headed back to Mars. In 2018, the InSight Mars lander heads to and lands on the Red Planet, where NASA's gonna take a look at this red world like never before, probing deep inside its core and also looking for Mars quakes. But it's a big mission, so let's take a look at five fun facts behind this Martian probe. First, InSight has a super complicated name and it almost never happened. It's the InSight Exploration Using Seismic Investigation Geodesy and Heat Transport. That's a mouthful, so it's easier to say just InSight, but the mission almost got canceled. The mission was originally supposed to launch in 2016 and reach Mars the same year. But a year earlier in 2015, NASA found out there was something wrong with the seismograph. That meant that they had to go back in, try to see if they could fix it, and they weren't sure that they could. That also basically meant that they could not launch in 2016 at all. And it wasn't clear if they'd be able to fix the instrument in time to make their 2018 launch date. Now, NASA did work with their colleagues at the French Space Agency who built the instrument, and they were able to kind of find a workaround and get it working. But for a little while there in 2015, and also kind of getting into 2016, it was really touch and go if they're gonna make this mission happen. Second, InSight looks really familiar. If you look at the InSight spacecraft and you kind of have a flashback to missions in the past, you're not seeing things. InSight is built much like NASA's previous Mars lander, the Phoenix Mars lander, which landed in the kind of the polar regions of Mars in the early 2000s, and that's intentional. It has a, a thruster system, it has solar arrays that all have been proven to land on Mars with that earlier Phoenix mission. And Phoenix itself was based on an even older NASA mission called the Mars Polar Lander. That mission did crash, but the Phoenix was successful and NASA is really hopeful that InSight will be successful because it's using all of those systems that have been proven to work on Mars in the past. Third, it's gonna play a crane game on Mars. Now, unlike past landers that have had either a robotic arm or some other kind of manipulator on it, InSight has a crane, and that's because it's gonna deploy two special instruments. It has a seismograph, like kind of like an upside down bowl that it's gonna set down on the surface of Mars to look for Mars quakes, and this heat transport probe that's gonna drive like a spike uh, a few feet into the ground to try to study the core of Mars, see like what makes it tick. Making sure that that crane works was a big challenge developing it, and it's gonna be vital to mission success. Fourth, InSight has hitchhikers. In addition to just sending one probe to Mars with the InSight lander, it actually has two ride-alongs, these small CubeSats called Mars Cube 1, Evie and Wally. And no, uh, I know what you're thinking, those are super adorable names. It's, it's intentional, if you saw the movie Wally, uh, then you, you will recognize that these small CubeSats, they're about the size of like a big loaf of bread, were named after those adorable robots. Now these are the first interplanetary CubeSats to visit another planet. And they're not really gonna do much science on the way, but when they get to Mars, NASA is hoping that they're gonna show that these small, cheap spacecraft can be used to help uh, facilitate communications of other spacecraft at Mars because people are gonna live on Mars, they're gonna need communication satellites, and if they can make this system work, they can prove that small satellites can in fact survive deep space environments. And if these spacecraft make the grade, you might see more CubeSats go to other planets in the future. Fifth and finally, Captain Kirk is riding on InSight. Now you didn't hear me wrong, William Shatner, the actor behind the iconic role of Captain Kirk on, uh, from Star Trek, has put his name on NASA's InSight. Now, that would be special, but you know, there are 2.4 million names riding on the InSight probe to Mars. In fact, my name is on there, so is my daughter Zadie's. So we're all crewmates on the Starship InSight going to, going to Mars along with William Shatner, which is pretty exciting. You know, NASA has always worked to, uh, on ways to get people involved in these missions, so it's not just scientists that are excited about the types of uh, science they're doing on Mars, and uh, this is like a really fun way to get the public involved. In the years ahead of the, the, the launch, they sent out a call for people to sign up. They even gave boarding passes to folks to, to go to Mars, and you can get frequent flyer miles. It is hundreds of millions of miles to get to Mars. The effort did pay off with 2.4 million names, including, of course, Captain Kirk and yours truly. So that's it. There's a quick look at the fun facts behind NASA's InSight Mars Lander. I hope you're excited about that mission and more Mars exploration to come. And you can learn all about it at space.com. So thanks so much. I'm Tarek Malik.